in the blue corner from Rakata Sampalo. Company top fight is where she fights out of. Her coach is Wilson Teodoro. She's 25 years old, 1.555 meters. She's right-handed. This is her first time in the WGP. This is Ana Flavia Almeida. In the red corner, the hometown fighter from Braganza Paulista. Her fighting team is inside Munil Adriano. Munil Adriano is her coach. She's 30 years old, 1.63 meters tall. She's ambidextrous, eight fights, six victories, two knockouts, two losses. This is Pamela Mada. You can hear the hometown crowd. That is definitely in support of their fighter. Pamela, a little bit older, a little bit taller, a little bit more experienced, well, quite a bit more experienced, as a matter of fact. And Anna Flavia is a little bit shorter, but she's quite a bit younger. She has, she is known for having good combinations, and Pamela is known for being a very aggressive fighter. New referee in the ring for this women's super fight in the bantamweight division. Both fighters looking confident, getting ready for this super fight at WGP number 42 from Braganza Paulista. Looks like we're ready to go now after a slight adjustment by Pamela's corner to her equipment. Both fighters looking determined and confident. And now the referee. Both trying their low kicks, leg kicks, trying to find the distance, see which, which is going to work for them. Pamela comes in with good combination, good front jab, and a good back roundhouse kick to the leg of Ana Flavia. Nice jab, front kick by Pamela. You can tell she is excited, she is hyped, she is aggressive, and ready to fight for her hometown. She has a good boxing stance, her guard is up. Anna Flavia also has her guard up. Good combination by Pamela, but it was countered. There was a nice counter attack by Anna Flavia as well. Both of these women are here to fight, and this is no joke for either one of them. Good, good technique. Both, both women fighters showing good technique up to this point. Oh, a good right hand by Pamela that caught Anna Flavia off guard. Good left leg. 
good left leg by, by Pamela. She looks confident, calm, using her legs. Try and judge that distance, set up a good kick. A good kick by Ana Flavia that caught. Oh, and there was that leg holding that we talked about in earlier fights. There was a proper kick, a great kick by Pamela that was very effective. Good combination, left jab, left jab, right cross. Didn't score, but very good combination. Dangerous. Ana Flavia looks calm, but she's throwing a little bit wildly. Trying to knock out Pamela early in the first round. Good, good, good combinations, great. Oh, Pamela has got some great boxing skills. She's got a great left jab, left jab, sets up a right hand very easily. Now using her jab, jab with her right foot, left foot. Oh, oh, knocked down by Anna Flavia. That caught Pamela off guard. That was, oh, she's wobbling. She's still wobbling. She's getting counted. She was a fantastic, she is a technician, great technician, but she got caught and she got caught hard. She has got to recompose herself or she is gonna get knocked down again. Anna Flavia looking calm and strong and not messing around. In the clinch, referee breaks him up. She is looking more determined after that. Confidence from that knockdown. Pamela looking weaker. She's leaving herself open too much. And now again, again, she was caught on the right side. It looked like it could have been a slip. That's the end of the first round. Let's see if Pamela can recompose herself, get her forces back, and continue on. She was, she is by far the better technician. Her kicks are awesome, but she left herself open and was caught off guard. Let's see if we can see that again, where she was caught. The last part of this round, Anna Flavia was able to score a lot of punches. There, that was a great right cross, a right hook, I should say, by, by Anna Flavia. I would have to say, there's, there's Pamela's coach telling, telling her to start moving around more. Use your knee, move around more. Stay out of the way of this powerhouse, Anna Flavia. And they're off the second round now. Let's see if Pamela has been able to recuperate. Both starting out with leg kicks. Nice side kick from the front leg by Pamela. Very nice technique, great. Oh, and she moving in with her knees. Referee breaks them up from the clinch. Both fighters looking determined. Pamela, oh, a nice front kick by Pamela. Nice, sets up with her front kick with her jab. And there she goes, a right hook and a left. Oh, a slip, Flavia, Anna Flavia slipped, but she still was hit. She looks determined, not happy, frustrated, wanting to knock this Pamela hometown fighter out, but unable to finish the job. Into the clinch, it seems like Anna Flavia now is losing her composure again and starting to throw wildly, throwing her elbows into Pamela's face. She's got to get a warning for that. The referee's got to pay attention to that. She's throwing her elbows in there. She's liable to cut Pamela if she keeps that up. Pamela is tough. She is hanging in there. She is waiting for that opening, and she is she's going to unleash that left jab that she was so confident with in the first round. And they're moving around. They're not throwing each. They're throwing, showing each other a lot of respect. Good, good combination. Good, good. Oh, good combination by the, both women. Both of them. Anna Flavia looking determined, almost upset that she has to deal with this contender in front of her. Good combination by Pamela as she moves into the clinch and seems, it appears that Flavia has, Anna Flavia has some trouble in the clinch and is not able to Confidently. Oh, a good right hand by Pamela. Flavia's head was rocked on that one. 
and she's she's got to get a warning from this referee. This referee is not doing their job, her job. And Santa Flavia is she is she's using her elbows. She's getting in and smashing in Pamela's face. Unsportsmanlike, in my view. Maybe she should be in M and M and A instead of kickboxing if she wants to be using pure aggression in such a way. Good jumping fist, back fist by, by Anna Flavia. But Pamela is still able to fight it off. Warded up. Good kick that hit Pamela's leg. Good knee by Pamela as she moved in. A great knee and she tied up Anna Flavia as they both came into the clinch. Again, she tried that knee. But Anna Flavia stepped back and threw a wild left hook. Good, good back kick, a little bit ineffective by Pamela. And into the clinch they go again. The referee is waiting too long, in my view, to stop the clinch, to break up these fighters. And it is allowing Anna Flavia to push in, use her elbows, and frankly, do some techniques that are not allowed in WGP kickboxing. Pamela's coach again, instead of telling her to move around like he did last time, now he's saying move around and combinations. One, two, three, get out of there. One, two, three, move. Let's see if she follows the advice. Let's see if this referee can pick it up a little bit and be a little more aware of some of Anna Flavia's tactics. Moving into the clinch again, pure aggression from Anna Flavia. Good leg kick jab from Pamela. Setting up. Oh, there she goes. A good left hook. A good left hook. Great left hook by Pamela. And that caught Flavia off guard. Oh, jumped in with a front kick. Totally off. Totally out of the realm of what should be done in this third and final round. Moving around. She's got her great movement. Pamela's moving, but she's keeping herself forward instead of a side boxing stance. Good front kick, back kick, back leg front kick from Pamela. Knocked Flavia back just a little bit. Nice attempt at her front skipping in front leg kick by Anna Flavia. And into the clinch they go again. Pure aggression by Anna Flavia as she tries to throw Pamela to the ground. Moving around, good boxing skills by both of them, right and a left, and a combination by each. And a counter by Anna Flavia. Anna Flavia looking concentrated, looking, oh, a good combination. Shakes it off, says, no, that's, that's, that was nothing. But it was a great combination, just like her coach had asked her to do. And into the clinch they go, they finally the referee breaks them up. Move on. You can hear Pamela's coach yelling for her to move around, telling her to move. As she boxes more of a, setting up her jab, trying to set up her jab, good front kick. Good, jumping knee and a jumping back fist by Pamela. Ineffective, but they were good techniques that were tried. One minute left in this third round of three of this super fight of the women's bantamweight. Kicks are a little bit ineffective at this point, both a little bit tired. Very aggressive in the clinch, both fighters. Both fighters, Pamela's coach yelling about the time, 30 seconds left. You have to move, you have to move. Good jab, left front kick by Pamela. Esh oh, as she moves in, she holds on, does not let Anna Flavia throw her to the ground and use those elbows. There she goes again with those elbows in the chin of Pamela. The referee has not even once warned her about that. 
Pamela Scotch telling her to put in, move in with the combination and use a follow up with a, with a knee. A good right hand by Flavia, Anna Flavia. A good left back leg by Pamela. And the crowd is going crazy. They are supporting this hometown fighter with all their gusto. And that's the end of the Bantamweight Women's 52 kilogram K1 Rules Super Fight. And I thought that was a great fight. Both girls were, both women fighters were extremely. By unanimous decision, the victory goes to. Ana Flavia Almeida from Dracena, São Paulo. Her first fight in the WGP and she beats the hometown fighter, Pamela Mara. Happiness all around.